I was like, yeah, I got my CCNA. And they looked at me like, why are you here? You know, like, shoot, I don't know why I'm here. I, you know, this is the first job that called me back. Welcome to Debt Free NIT. I'm your host, Mike. This podcast is for anyone who's looking to get into the IT industry, whether it's for a career change or you're just interested, I think you come to the right place. Today's episode comes from a listener's question. So within that question, that listener asked, is Cisco better than CompTIA Network Plus and CompTIA A Plus certification? They see that companies use or ask for both of these certifications. They've also started learning networking and plan to stick with the Network Plus for now, or at least that's what I could get from the question. So let's get to it. So before giving my thoughts on this question and my reply to this question, I want to just look at what each one of these certifications cover or what each one of these certifications may be pointed towards or what they may be for. So when we look at the A-plus certification, usually the A-plus, it covers those broad fundamentals, hardware, operating system troubleshooting. Uh, Basically, I would say this is geared towards if you're going a desktop route. So usually if someone is interested in help desk, desktop, usually that's where you see that A-plus advertised or where you see that for a certain role within that area, they may require you to have an A-plus. Then when we look at the Network Plus, so the Network Plus, this is a vendor neutral networking certification. It covers basically the network foundation. So basically um, overall networking, you know, it's not going to get too much into different types of gear or maybe different type of vendor equipment that you may use in networking, but it's a good one for just learning the foundations of networking. And then we have the CCNA. So the CCNA is a networking certification also. It's associate level certification. Uh, Basically with the CCNA, this certification is more vendor specific. It goes deeper into networking. And also one of the uh, pluses to it is it's one of the certification that has a lot of labs that goes to it. So this is where you can actually get that hands-on experience from using your packet tracers or maybe using real equipment that you may have to go and learn these technologies within the CCNA. So each one of these, like I said, they're all good certifications. Uh, They will all definitely help you to get that first position or help get your foot in the door, as I always say. But like I said, before I got into the question, I want to just give a brief overview of what these certifications cover and what they may be geared towards or what type of position. So usually, like I said, A+, plus. a lot of times I see that desktop help desk. Uh, Network Plus is very, uh, like I said, it's it's widespread with those type of roles. You can see uh, help desk, desktop, um, a lot of other roles, security positions. Some of them may require that Network Plus. CCNA, usually if someone gets the CCNA, uh, I would say you're definitely headed towards that networking route. But the CCNA, as you all know from my story, this was the certification that got me started within my IT career. So it's definitely one of the certifications that I believe could get your foot in the door. And then you start to pivot after you get in the door and get your career started. And then, like I stated earlier, when deciding on which one of these certifications or which one is better than the other, like I said, all of them are good. It's good, but it's going to depend on your end goal. So like I stated, at A+, plus, usually I would say if you're going for a IT journalist help desk, that A+, plus is usually a good starting point. So, you know, for me, like I said, I was already pretty familiar with PCs a little bit, you know, from having my own PC when I was coming up. And basically, you know, you're coming up with your PC and basically something break on your PC and you ain't got the money to fix it then you learn to go fix it your own way. You learn to take it apart, put it back together. You know, a lot of times you learn from those experiences. So I was in that type of situation where I had a PC. And like I said, at the time, I was trying to load up music software on my PC. You know, I ain't know nothing about RAM and none of that stuff. I just knew that, okay, this computer won't load up my software. And then I started researching, troubleshooting. That's when I said, okay, it may need some more RAM. I go out, buy some more RAM and open up the PC. And when I'm looking at it, to me, it always looked almost like a a car mechanic that work on cars. Or if you see someone work on cars, you know, if you take a piece out, there's only one way to put that piece back in. So it is, you know, it's either going to go in there or it ain't going to go in there. So I quickly 
caught on to that. So when I was looking at upgrading my RAM and things like that, you already see where one stick of RAM is at. So basically just putting the other stick in there. So like I said, with the A+, plus, it never was really on my radar because even though I love desktop, it wasn't really uh, anything that I wanted to get the A-plus to try to get. And maybe if I had learned about the A-plus A early on in my career, it might have been something that I would have went towards. But the way that it ended up for me, I was bit real heavy within networking. But like I said, if your end goal is just getting in the door, maybe a uh, help desk, desktop support, a lot of times that A-plus is a good one to start with. And then, too, it's not like you're going real, real deep into something to where, you know, like the CCNA or something like that. So it's something that's going to give you a little bit of exposure. You learn your way around a PC. And like I said, this could end up getting you that desktop role. And then from there, let's say you want some exposure to networking without diving too deep. So this is where I think that Network Plus comes into play because it's a, a solid certification. Uh, a lot of times you see it listed for some security jobs because some security jobs, you know, it might not, they might not need you to know networking as deep as going and going out and get a CCNA, but they may want you to have that understanding of networking. And that's why they may require that Network Plus. So this Network Plus, like I said, it's a real versatile certification because like I said, it's not going too deep in the networking, but like I said, a lot of other positions that may not be networking positions often ask for this certification. So then if your target is a networking career, then this is where the CCNA is gonna stand out. So the CCNA is definitely a networking certification. Like I said, this is one of the certifications you start out with. Hopefully that certification helps you to get into the door and move up to a networking role. And then as you start to get experience, that's when I would say start working towards that CCNP certification. For most folks, usually the CCNP comes at the point where you may be in a position and in order to move up to that next level, they may want you to have that CCNP certification. So, but definitely if your end goal is networking, the CCNA would be the best option when it comes to this question. And then moving on to an employer standpoint. So usually, like I said, with most job roles, you say you see both of these certifications listed all the time. So usually a lot of times, most employers, they do list a, a lot of certifications on their uh, job roles and job descriptions. Descriptions. I always like to put it in the perspective of a lot of times they're looking for Superman, but you know what I'm saying? They'll be happy with Clark Kent. And I always mispronounce his name. But they're looking for Superman, but they'll be happy with someone a little bit under Superman. So I'm just saying that to say, a lot of times you'll see numerous certifications on the job description. Does that mean that you need to have each one of these certifications in order to apply? No, it doesn't. At least from my perspective, it doesn't. So a lot of times, if I got one of those certifications, usually I'm applying. You know, if I got anything that, if I look at the job description and there's a couple items on that bullet list I can do or I'm pretty familiar with, I'm applying. Because sometimes what ends up happening is you know, from an HR standpoint, they may have a role for like a, let's say a senior engineer or something. So the role is for a senior engineer. We got all these lists on the description, all these checkpoints we're looking for. But let's say no one at that senior engineer level applies. So if no one at that senior engineer level applies, but then someone who would be a great network engineer, a regular engineer, not a senior engineer applies, then a lot of times, you know, from a HR standpoint, they may look at that as they save some money because we had a hundred thousand for the senior engineer. Uh, we found a good regular engineer that has the potential to become senior, but except for instead of spending this hundred thousand, we're now spending 70, 80 grand. So we saved 20,000 there. So a lot of times that's why you see a lot of these certifications listed on the job description. And at least that's from my standpoint, that's, that's how I make it make sense. So you see both of these certifications. Um, I would tell you from my experience, I do get a lot of hits uh, probably off my CCNA. Um, and now that I got 10 years of experience, you know, roughly about 10 years before I left and went to my current position, I would say some of that, that goes into play too because I do have, uh, like I said, a couple years of experience in an enterprise environment. Uh, but definitely I do get hit up, I would say, uh, at least once or twice a month 
uh, from a recruiter that's inboxing me either on LinkedIn or either on Indeed, uh, letting me know they got this role available and they like that I had a CCNA. So I do think you get more hits from this. And then what's weird is, uh, you know, I'm not sure if you listen to any of my first episodes I ever made, but at one time when I was looking for a job, when I first got, got out of college and I had my CCNA, I remember getting a call or calling up a recruiter because he had this job listed and the job was requiring a network plus. And I remember the recruiter, apparently he didn't understand the difference between a network plus and a CCNA. So he was like, well, man, I can't send you on the job because this position is requiring a network plus and you got a CCNA, which anybody knows that if you got that CCNA, it pretty much proves that you got well over that network plus knowledge of networking. So, but he didn't understand that. So he never sent me on the job. So needless to say, like I said, you will see a lot of these certifications listed on the job description. Doesn't mean that you need all of them. But like I said, uh, if you got a couple of them or if you got one of them, I would still apply. Quick pause. I'd like to introduce you to the Log Files. The Log Files is a weekly newsletter to help start your IT career with practical advice and tips powered by yours truly. I launched it in the beginning of the year. It's packed with actionable advice, resources, and insights to kickstart your IT journey. The link is in the description as well as pinned in the comments. So don't miss out. Now back to the episode. So the next thing I wanna look at is the learning curve between these certifications. So like I said, the A plus mainly goes into the hardware of your computer, uh, taking apart your computer, putting together your computer. So a lot of times it's, it's not real difficult for, for the A plus. Like I said, I'm not saying that it's easy either. So don't, don't take it out, I'm trying to brush over of it. But basically, like I said, it's uh, basically hardware, your OS, things of that nature. Uh, when it comes to networking, so that network plus, will probably be a little bit more easier if that's the case easier than that ccna uh so like i said when you get into networking networking is pretty tough so for me uh when i first started learning it one of the things i struggled with because i came in studying looking learning the ccna you know i didn't go through a network plus first i went straight to the ccna so with me at that time, when I think back, some of the things I struggled with was doing the commands. So like learning the commands and then in my head, applying it to how it's used in the real world. Because at that time, like I said, I was a student. You know, I never knew this stuff existed until that, that when I got in that class. So me taking it from, OK, me putting in the commands, I see the equipment there. I'm touching the routers and switches. I'm connected in them. I'm cabling them up. You know, so I'm like, OK. I'm putting in the commands, you know, by this time I'm trying to memorize the commands, but I didn't truly understand what I was doing till years later, till, you know, so I understood putting in the commands, but I, I didn't really have that, that real world application to see what's the use case for this or what's happening or what's going on. So, like I said, if that's you, then I would say, you know, that CompTIA could be one of the things that you can use as a stepping stone. You know, this is if you, decide to go down that networking route and your end goal is in networking. So like I said, use that CompTIA Network Plus, build your confidence up, get that certification. Then after that, move on to the CCNA. Uh, I will say that this, when I, once I got my CCNA, it gave me uh, more confidence also because at the time when I got it, I didn't really know what it was. I didn't really know the value of it. I knew it was a certification, but you know, I'm from a small town. So when I tell somebody else I got a CCNA, they thought I was talking about nursing. So, you know, it's one of the things where then nobody know what I was talking about. So I didn't realize that it held some kind of weight until when I started working for Vonage. When I started working for Vonage, I was in my training class. And I remember they was going over the training and they were showing us, you know, your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. They're asking people, do you know what that is? Do you know how it works? I'm raising my hand for every one of them. They ask me questions. I'm answering the questions. So people was looking at me like, dang, you know every, you know all this. You already know it. And then when I got to talking to some people, I was like, yeah, I got my CCNA. And they looked at me like, why are you here? You know, like, shoot, I don't know why I'm here. I, you know, this is the first job that called me back. So that's why I'm here. So like I said, I, I told them I had my CCNA. That's when I knew that. 
it kind of held a little bit of weight because when I got to Vonage, like I said, I was in a larger city for a little bit. And basically I was able to go out, talk to people, end up talking to other people that was in IT. And when I told them I had that certification, like I said, I, I could tell uh, from their responses that, you know, the certification must be pretty decent. So like I said, that CCNA definitely gave me some confidence. But then after I got in it, started working in it, you know, it gives you more confidence. So this is even from before I got into networking, just when I got to my first IT role, you know, you start going out solving issues, it boosts up your confidence. So like I said, right now you said that you're going to maintain uh, studying for the network plus from what I can get from the end, the end of your question there. So I would say use that network plus as a stepping stone. So whether if not that net cert is the CCNA or that net cert is the security plus or that net cert is something else that we, we didn't even mention, use that network plus as a stepping stone because once you get that, you're going to have the confidence of knowing that, especially if this is your first certification, you're going to have that confidence of knowing that I'm able to go out learn this technology, then I'm able to pass the test for it that says that I'm certified for this particular technology or uh, for, for networking per se. So like I said, that's going to give you that confidence. Then you move on to your next certification. You know, if you want to take a, a couple of weeks or a month or so break, then move on to the next one. Like I said, use it as a stepping stone. But like I said, I, I do understand when you say that, you know, Networking is a little bit hard. So it is hard to understand. It's a lot of stuff thrown at you at one time. So like I said, use that net Network Plus as that stepping stone and then move on to the next one. Then the next thing I want to look at or talk about is some mistakes to avoid. So, you know, say we all make mistakes. Uh, now I'm, I'm thinking back. So, you know, you can look at me like, I guess like Hove. Hove did that. So hopefully you ain't got to go through that. So this is some of the mistakes or some of the mistakes I see a lot of people make when we have a lot of different options on our table. So I do the same thing. Uh, I think in a couple of episodes back, I was just talking about the same thing, how, you know, some of these things that I got hung up on doing. And the main thing that I want to point out is you don't want to get caught up bouncing between these certifications. So you don't want to get caught up saying that, okay, this week I'm on my A plus. I think I'm going to go for the A plus. Then two weeks down the road, A plus born. I think I need that network plus. I think I need that network plus. Okay. Then, okay. I happen to see something on Indeed. Okay. I think I need this CCNA. So you're going to always see something that's going to make you change your mind. I'm going to tell you that now. You know, I got caught up in it. A lot of my friends get caught up in it. You know, a lot of people I talk to get caught up in the same thing to where there's so many options out there, you know, you think that, okay, you're trying to find the best one. You know, we're looking for the best one. Well, actually, all of them is good in their own right. So what I don't want to happen is you get caught up going between each one of these certifications and then a year, two years, three years go down the road and you ain't took NAM exam, you ain't passed NAM one of them, you ain't studied for NAM one of them, and you're still going in circles trying to choose which one may be the best. So, like I said, that's something that I got stuck up in. And hopefully, you know, so I don't want you to get stuck up in it. So, if you're listening to this as I'm answering your question, like I said, tr pick one of them. Go with it. You know, when, once, we, once you finish that off, then decide on the next one. So, in closing, just to come out and give you a straight answer. So, is the Cisco better than CompTIA A+, plus or Network+. Plus? I would say if you're going for pure networking, definitely that CCNA will be will serve you better than the A plus or Network Plus. Uh, but also, like I said, the A plus and Network Plus is great starting points for anyone that's brand new, need that confidence before jumping into something like Cisco or before going after that Security Plus. But like I said, the key is to pick one of them, go through and finish what you start, and then after you finish what you start, start moving up to the next level. So let me know in the comments, if you were starting today, which certification would you start with? And that brings me to the end of this episode. Hopefully you found some value in this episode. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, you can follow me at Debt Free and IT. If you have any questions, you can email me at debtfreeandit at gmail.com, or you can visit me at debtfreeandit with Mike.com. Other than that, 
I'll see you next week. Peace.